Not only can software updates help keep your iPad running smoothly, they can squash annoying bugs that you might otherwise come across. It can also help your iPad run more efficiently by saving battery life. So this video is going to show you how to actually download and install an a software update. So you start with the settings. And if you have a software update, you will see a red circle with a number in it to indicate there is an update. And you can also see it there in software update. So just tap on software update. It's going to check for an update to see if you have in fact got one that's compatible with your iPad. And sometimes it'll say download install. In this case, it says install now because I've had this update sitting on the iPad for quite some time. Now, before you do the update, make sure that you clear out any apps that you don't use to free up some space. And you do that by going into settings, general. And we're looking for iPad storage. Once it's loaded, then you'll see a list of all the apps that you have sorted from the one that's taking the most space down to the apps that are using the least space and you can scroll through them and delete any apps that you don't use or rarely use if you're running out of space for example welder i've never used it downloaded it but never used it it's only taking 172 megabytes but i could delete it and regain that space so i will at the very top, then it uh, also tells you how many, how much space your videos are taking up, uh, your photos. So if you need to recover some space, then do that first before you do the update. So let's tap install now, and you need to add your passcode. And make sure that your iPad is connected to power when you do an update. It's a little bit faster and it just makes sure that nothing will happen in the middle of the update process. After it's verified, the, the iPad will switch itself off. It will take a, a few seconds and then it will start the upgrade process. But you'll get the white apple and then you'll get a progress bar and it might take a few minutes before it finally reboots itself. Once it's upgraded you need to you need to put in your passcode and you'll get back to the home screen and then go and check the version that you now have the software update reminder that red circle is now gone and if i tap on software update it should give me the message that my software is up to date